Hi everyone, we've already seen how alkali metals react vigorously with water and we've also seen how they react with oxygen and air when you burn them. If you need a reminder about those reactions, I'll put a link up there now. So in this gas jar, I've got a very pale green gas, which is chlorine gas. Probably the most dangerous chemical I've had in this room. It was even used as a chemical weapon in World War I. So I've got to be very careful not to breathe that in. Any science teachers that watch my channel, please check all the safety advice before you even think about using chlorine gas. So I was wondering what would happen if we burn alkaline metals and get them to react with chlorine gas. Let's have a look at what happens. So here we've got our piece of lithium. I'm going to set that on fire and then we're going to put it in the jar of the pale green chlorine gas and see what reaction we get. The lithium starts off as a silvery metal and the chlorine begins as a pale green gas and as you can see when they react together it gives off a lot of heat and light and the white smoke is actually lithium chloride, a white powder, being formed. This time the silvery metal is sodium and we're reacting it with the pale green chlorine gas and once again we see lots of heat and light given off as well as the white smoke or the white powder which in this case will be sodium chloride. You'll notice we're working in a fume cupboard just in case any of that toxic chlorine gas escapes from the gas jar. So to recap, when alkali metals react with chlorine, we get a vigorous reaction, a lot of heat and light given off, they give off a white smoke, which is the chloride being produced. For example, lithium and chlorine produces lithium chloride, which is a white powder, whereas sodium would react with chlorine to make sodium chloride. If you found the video useful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.